<laughs> hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the Blob Brush Tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file we can find the blob brush tool over on the left hand side and it sits underneath the paint brush tool and the keyboard shortcut is shift B and this works in a similar way to the paint brush tool in that we can just use this freehand by clicking and dragging. Now there are some key differences though so first of all I'm just going to set a fill colour as the blob brush tool doesn't work with strokes. It actually creates filled areas as I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to select a green colour here. I can go up to my brush definition drop down and we can select one of these presets. So in this example I'm just going to select this 10 point round option and I can simply start using this by clicking and dragging to create a line and if I go to my selection tool and select this as you can see this isn't creating a stroke it's instead creating a line that actually contains a fill instead. So this works slightly differently. If I double click on the tool itself we also get some options such as a fidelity slider for the smoothness. This is something that I prefer to keep at the smoother end so it's going to get rid of any imperfections in the lines I'm creating. With it selected I can also use my bracket keys to, to change the size of the brush so tapping the right bracket is going to make this bigger and the left bracket smaller. So again I'm just going to click and drag and once I let go I'll grab my selection tool again Again, you can see in the areas that have been overlapped this is just filling in to create a single shape here so we don't have any overlapping paths at all. If I was to grab it again and for example click over this top area it's just going to add that to this shape so we're not getting two separate shapes created. So this is quite useful for certain scenarios. Moving down to this example here we have a very simple design. We have the strokes of this design sitting on the layer above and we we have the colours sitting below and this is one potential use of the blob brush tool. I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and I drop this green colour for example. We'll move in towards this tree and I'm just going to select a lighter tint of this green colour. Shift B on my keyboard to get my blob brush tool. I'm going to press the left bracket to make this much smaller and I can do things like add some highlight areas to this for example. We can be quite freehand with it and it can be quite useful in scenarios was like this. Now you'll also notice here that we have the stroke set with a colour and no fill but as soon as I start using this it's going to flip the stroke to a fill so if I select this object you can see it actually does have a fill of that colour and not a stroke so it doesn't really matter if you have the stroke colour set instead of the fill it's always going to convert this to a fill. And you can see the smoothing really helps in these scenarios as it's quite difficult to be precise with just a mouse. However, where this tool can actually be very useful is with the use of a graphics tablet that we can actually use pressure settings with. So I'm going to go back over to my blob brush tool and double click on this. And leaving all these settings up at the top the same, where we have size, I'm going to drop this down and change this to pressure. And I'm going to adjust the size itself as well. We'll up this to about 10 point and I want to change the variation to 10 point as well so we're getting the maximum amount of difference in pressure. So I'll click OK and switching over to my graphics tablet now if I start by applying very little pressure you can see this is starting quite small and I can apply more pressure as I continue and this is quite a useful way of using this. It can be a little bit more intuitive this way and again with smoothing turned on we can achieve a quite nice effect. But that's it for an overview of the blob brush tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, 
what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you are serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for and ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not gonna want to miss it. I'll see you there.